Hi Pisces, welcome to your June reading. Um, I had you messages I had to tell you like right away. Uh, I wasn't planning on filming you guys today, but here I am. So if you are a Pisces sun, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in the sign of Pisces, these messages are for you. If this is your first time tuning in, hello, hi, and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in and clicking this video. My name is Victoria. Um, like I said, we're going to look at the tarot, the overall energy surrounding you this June. We're going to look at your love life, career, finance and yeah we're gonna start off though with the overall spiritual energy okay so before i just don't want to forget before I, i'll skip the announcements and i'll just okay um i want to tell you pisces if you're thinking like why can't i have this or why can't things be this way i want to let you know pisces that things are still in the process of changing there are minor adjustments that the universe is making at this time what i'm saying right now pisces is your future is not yet set in stone okay that means that anything that you're trying to manifest still is likely on its way to you we just need to be a little bit more patient maybe there's like some few some few tweaks that we need to make here and there okay so Pisces what this means is be patient and utilize this time right now after the eclipse uh, yes it's mercury retrograde um, Take this time to revitalize yourself. Take this time to like reflect back, Mercury retrograde, reflecting back on past lessons, things that you kind of need to fix around. Uh, the universe is just waiting on these few little minor details to be fixed um, before they bring you something really great, really amazing, before you level up, okay, is what I'm seeing. And I just felt like I had to come here and tell you this like right away, okay? Um, so let's get into the announcements now that we got that out of the way. Um, those of you who don't like waiting for readings, okay, I post post weekly insights so videos just like this on my patreon patreon is an app where you can get a membership so you'll get readings every single week just like this for all the signs uh, you also get early access ad free access to all of my videos so everything that you see on youtube it's already been posted on patreon like days ago even weeks in advance um so check out the patreon if you are an impatient person and you just want exclusive content as well i do sales on patreon for like my personal readings um and yeah uh the link is in the description box below for patreon and also for personal readings okay i did have an unexpected visit to the vet yesterday my cat is okay for now um he seems to be doing better but um i am still like covering the cost for the vet so i had to open readings i was going to take a break initially um but yeah okay so here we are the moon is in pisces the day that i'm filming this I thought it was like, it's only fair. Like, I just feel so mushy. Like, I don't know if you guys are feeling this all the time, Pisces. Damn. I just feel so mushy, so filled with love. So I'm telling everyone that I'm proud of them. Like anyone, just a stranger, I don't care. I'm telling you that you're doing amazing, honey. Let's get into it. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, overall energy surrounding you spiritually this June, please. Thank you, spirits and guides, for your guidance, your protection. <sighs> we are so appreciative of your energy please continue to guide us and protect us into the direction that we are meant to go into okay so right off the bat we got stand your ground okay interesting we've got discontentment and boredom in reverse okay so june feels like an exciting time it feels like an, a time filled of uh, opportunity for you guys i think a lot of you have been an, unsatisfied with some aspects in your life maybe all aspects there's major changes that need to be made but the first things first pisces you need to be holding yourself accountable for uh the way that life has been going you know i'm not saying everything is your fault but i'm saying you have the potential of changing things around that's why the stand your ground card is here okay this is also the the card of boundaries you have to implement boundaries so that you can protect yourself energetically from other people's projections uh expectations of you negativity jealousy anything okay so stand your ground wear protective crystals uh, protect your energy and cleanse yourself okay we got triumph a lot of number seven so i'm saying that the number seven will be uh, significant to you in some way someone's born on the seventh you're born on the seventh the seventh day the seventh month okay take to keep an eye out for the number seven these could also be repeating numbers and getting especially 77 okay let's see what else we have for the pisces please i'm sorry if i'm talking fast messages come through me very quickly okay so i just hope we can keep up okay because i don't know sometimes i get hate for speaking fast like i'm sorry i'm a gemini rising virgo moon like this is this is mercury like i'm mercury like i'm sorry um anyways bottom of the deck we have fertility okay uh so fertility not only means you know 
pregnancy okay so okay use protection if you're if you're not trying to get pregnant like be careful but fertility to me is also creativity it is bringing the subconscious mind into reality we are birthing ideas we are birthing concepts and wasn't i just telling you something about manifestation i feel like i was just starting this reading off telling you that things just might need to be figured out before they come into the physical form okay so that's 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 proof right there what else we got we got solitude in reverse we got triumph and success how many times does the word triumph have to come back in your readings in your cards look triumphant success right here and triumph okay uh the solitude card is in the reversal now is a good time to get active and to get active within your community is what i'm getting pisces like now is not the time to be by yourself like doing everything on your own in isolation hiding all that stuff like no like no we're going out we're meeting new people we're exchanging ideas i'm seeing an important uh conversation coming through to you or even important converse uh important information coming to you so you're getting yes you're approved yes congratulations something is going your way something is yes you're getting a yes you're getting an acceptance okay especially if it's a letter or it's a phone call uh, it's an email i don't care we got new beginnings in the reversal okay so this is what i'm saying pisces like you are about to start a new cycle yes it will start exactly how you want it to i'm not sure will it start as soon as you want it to i don't know i think that with the uh new beginning card in reverse it's kind of indicating a bit of a pause a bit of a delay doesn't mean you're not going to get it though there's a lot of success in your cards um i just feel so it's going to be a bit of a delayed success so maybe we're looking at the end of june or maybe even early july as well new beginning so that's in the reversal maybe some of you are low-key hesitant for for this new cycle to start maybe some of you need need to release a bit more i'm getting the feeling that some of you don't realize that you are deserving for what is to come and that sense of fear that sense of feeling making ourselves small that sense of insecurity it scares any new opportunity away okay now i don't want you to feel stressed because you don't feel that confident that's not the goal of this reading i'm letting you know right now that the universe really thrives off of you knowing that you are the shit you know what i'm saying the universe thrives off of you knowing that you have something to uh to bring to the table that like you have uh what is that word you have like you're a quality person like you are worthy okay you have you are worthy okay um let's get into what the tarot 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 has to say because these are oracle cards we're gonna get into like the actual tarot okay so let's start off with career and finances and then we'll look into your love life so let's look at the energy surrounding pisces someone rising venus in career and finances please Career and finances for Pisces, please. Someone rising Venus. I don't know why my nose is itchy. I don't know if it's your nose itchy right now. Anyways, when I do readings, like I, I try to pay attention to like all aspects. Um, Pisces, I'm seeing a lot. This is nothing new, but I'm seeing a lot of daydreaming for you right now. Um, I'm getting mention of Neptune, looking at where Neptune falls in your chart, uh, what Neptune, how like current Neptune's transits, how they are like affecting your chart, like aspects that they're making. I'm really thinking about Neptunes. I'm also thinking about the sky. I'm thinking about um, sun, the sun, uh, sun, not the sunrise. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what the opposite of the sunrise is sunset okay you you guys mercury retrograde happening right now like don't even come at me for not knowing the words to basic things like i'm sorry okay so i'm thinking about the sunset uh take a moment every day this june to look at the sunset it will help you out a lot okay if you are into drawing if you want to start drawing like this is your sign uh draw a sunset like you need a sunset picture in your house or in your room I already know you guys watching, like, someone here has a sunset in their room. I know it. You have a drawing, a picture of the sunset. Let this picture inspire you. I'm also hearing on Wednesdays we wear pink. So I'm really feeling as though pink, like, soft colors is something that you are guided to, like, tap into at this time. I'm thinking about, like, cotton cotton candy pink see like some baby pink too like i think pink is like your color pink and also uh like a a, a like purplish like light purple like baby blue like these are all colors oh is it a nursery is someone making a nursery getting like preparing something preparing for a baby because i'm definitely seeing like baby colors soft colors okay so let's see let's see let's get it let's see um uh, career finances please for pisces this june 
career and finances for Pisces this June. Make sure to check out your Venus signs, your rising signs for these readings. Uh, you don't just have to be a Pisces sun to like watch this, okay? So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, and Pisces, uh, career and finance. You are an inspiration, Pisces. Uh, you may not even notice it. People that, they don't tell you that they're proud of you, but they are. Like, people notice you a lot more than they let on. It's just a guided message. Okay. So, we got the Sun card in reverse. We got the uh, Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing you guys taking time off or just not getting a lot of hours, not getting a lot of work. If you uh, have your own uh, business, there's not a lot of clients, it seems. Like, it seems like things are really slow. Your motivation is low as well. You may not be making as much money as you want to be making this June, okay? Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel so a lot of you are also burnt out. Uh, you may be experiencing a creative block, so you just can't think of new ideas. Uh, nothing is feeling inspired inspiring right now so that's why i'm telling you to look at the sunset okay um, i'm also getting a miscarriage or termination um, of a, a pregnancy okay we got the page of pentacles okay interesting uh page of pentacles in reverse followed by the four of pentacles and then we have the lovers card okay let me just pull two more cards uh queen of cups uh nine of swords nine of wands i always call this swords. okay interesting bottom of the deck four of wands in reverse yeah i'm getting a lot of you not being able to socialize or have as much time time off or play time this june i'm seeing you feeling bummed out about it um it's like you're feeling sad that that you can't afford something or you like it's something about like the luxuries in your life like you're aspiring to live a luxurious life and i feel as though you may be working really hard towards it and not really seeing like gains like you're not really seeing uh like, yeah, you're just not seeing how what you're doing is paying off is what I'm seeing, okay? Queen of Cups is very interesting here. Some of you may be dealing with a water sign. I'm getting, like, a feminine here. So a feminine person that may be, like, your manager, your supervisor. For some, it could be a motherly figure. Someone here is helping you out when it comes to finances or at least they're helping you out when it comes to, like, keeping your cool, okay? For some, this could be a romantic love interest. But it just seems as there's someone here that's, like, a really good influence on you, again, and especially when it comes to keeping your emotions like intact okay for some this is you like you're just really strong-minded this month uh, you're overcoming all these obstacles and they're not letting you like you're not letting these obstacles stress you out um i'm getting a project or a launch uh there's delays with this okay so it's like something that you like you have trouble initiating new things this month it feels um so kind of focus uh let me see what how can i help you here bottom of the deck i got the four of, of, of wands in reverse uh and then we have the three of three of swords and then we have the uh the cherry card a lot of cancer energy coming through here uh, i really feel so some of you are bummed because you're missing uh you're missing something fun like a, a party an anniversary you're missing a celebration due to work uh you may also be missing out on something due to heartbreak okay there's something here showing me that you need to heal from something um i i see okay what is the chariot card here Okay, I understand. So there's mention here of boundaries, which I did tell you about before. And the, the Knight of, of, what is this, Wands? Yeah, the Knight of Wands cards here, Pisces, lets me know that you are indeed breaking out from something. You're breaking, you're thinking outside the mold. Okay, so you are breaking free from something. I do want to be like, I do want to tell you that like, you're breaking free from a cycle. Um, you're going to get the support that you deserve when it comes to this, whatever this is. Maybe you're uh, building up the courage to ask for a raise. Maybe you're building up the courage to leave your job. Uh, maybe this is also like financial like cycles that you're trying to break free from. I do see support coming to you, especially when it comes to like emotional support. For some, your finances may be affected by your love life, okay? I feel so it may be affected positively by your love life. Um, just be aware that you are not like at work daydreaming about love and like getting letting that take away from what really needs to be done okay because i do feel that we need to focus we need to play 
smart, not hard this June. Because I just feel so you're overworking yourself or you're not applying yourself hard enough. Like that's the harsh truth, Pisces. You need to kind of be honest about that. Uh, but for some, it may be like a uh, medical reason as to why you're just like not feeling too hot. Maybe it's like the time of the month and you're just like, you're, yeah, you just have no energy. Uh, just beware of your boundaries. Because like now is not the time where you're like, overflowing with like additional energy to like focus on one thing and focus on that like you need to be very strict with yourself is what i'm seeing a uh, chariot card here lets you know that it's time for you to boss up it's time for you to take uh control over your life okay it's not time to be letting everything like you know be the passenger side uh of your best friend's ride uh when the ride is your life your destiny you know what i'm saying okay um i'm also seeing you running into an ex it's mercury retrograde so is that really a prediction i don't know but you're running into an ex like you're like not going to a party or you're not going somewhere and that that ends up making you run into someone from the past uh i'm seeing like reconciliation here taking place with the three of swords like we didn't we we didn't pull your cards for love yet but i'm already seeing um maybe for some this is like an ex-friend like you're you're getting you're getting back together like with like friendship wise um it's like someone can't make it to a party i keep saying party but it's like you there were plans plans were postponed or canceled and i see you being able to make that right by the end of the month okay but financially wise it's not the right time for you to make a huge financial uh jump leap okay uh i feel so we need to definitely save for a rainy day if that's possible um if you can pick up more shifts uh and you feel guided to do that like try to get more hours maybe a side hustle um but i feel so there's something with our work ethic that we need to work on because again you're maybe you're just overworking yourself to a point of exhaustion um and i feel so like emotions are running high i feel so your emotion state your emotional state is affecting your finances and or work situation okay so i hope that that was helpful let's look let's look at your love life real quick okay because like it was giving me some loving energy here they were talking about like a soulmate like they're talking about the lovers and i'm just like i thought this was career finances i don't know if you're meeting someone at work pisces like that could be very possible um rely on your partner those of you who are with someone right now like your partner is here for you like open up to them like they they will appreciate that like some of you have been kind of holding back emotionally i feel uh i don't want you to be so tired like you need you need rest okay you need at least eight hours of sleep this month uh please make sure that you get sleep okay pisces like your sleeping schedule is a mess the sky is so pretty okay loki i want to go take a picture of the sky like maybe i'll do that and it'll be like okay i'll be right back i'll take a picture of the sky okay thank you guys for letting me do that okay um live in the moment pisces you need to live a little more in the moment i think a lot of you have been living in your head for a very long time we gotta step out we gotta step out you know what i mean okay let's look into love for you so whether you're single in a relationship you're not seeing anyone you you just you don't see anyone doesn't matter just listen take what resonates and live a little like let's do it okay so um love life for pisces please this june love life for pisces this june someone rising venus please oh like everything's pink uh, do you guys see the reflection here it's pink the sky is pink okay doesn't matter follow me on instagram at victoria x prada if you want to see sunsets every single day like i post them for my view and i just want to share everything with you guys regarding the sunsets okay so let's see uh love please for pisces i know you guys are like shut up just pull the cards like damn okay can we be friends though like okay um pisces love please pisces love what was the lovers cut about pisces love please pisces love please pisces love pisces love okay so at the bottom of the deck we have the again the page of pentacles a lot of you dealing with a uh an earth sign a virgo taurus capricorn they're moving too slow i don't think you're interested in them anymore for some of you i'm seeing like a little fling like uh, something ends kind of abruptly okay i'm seeing you spending a lot of time with your your friends uh socializing there's a an air sign coming through here uh there's an air sign that you're meeting while you are out with friends i'm getting like a mutual friend uh we also have the knight of wands in reverse if you're dealing with a fire sign uh i don't see you guys like like 
you know, I feel they're kind of, I feel as though you're moving on from fire sign. Like they kind of just fade away into the background. Uh, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius a fire sign, then like, I feel like you guys ended up on good terms. Okay. It's kind of like you're just not hearing from them this month. Um, okay. So what else am I seeing? Okay. So I'm seeing the hyphen card and the four and the nine of pentacles. Oh, I love this. So if you're already in a relationship, I see things improving. I'm seeing you two um, being able to work with one another. You're in sync. I feel as though finances are also really good for you. So either you or your partner are going to be experiencing like uh, finances uh, or a career change, like a positive one. So it's kind of like your, your partner uh, gets promoted, something like that. Okay. Especially if you're dealing with a Taurus, Libra, uh, Virgo, I'm seeing them doing really good financially. Uh, you're attracting someone that is very stable is what I'm seeing. Okay. Uh, this person is very studious. I feel as though they have graduated. Uh, they have like multiple diplomas or something. They're very skilled in their field. Uh, they're giving very Venusian energy. Okay. This person is well put together. Uh, they look like they have money. They smell good. Okay. Uh, at the bottom deck, again, page of pentacles we got the world card in reverse a lot of you are repeating the same cycles so do kind of be aware of who you're meeting at this time because i feel like if you tend to uh if you if you know that there's certain things about your love life that you need to change i'm seeing you kind of repeating those same cycles unless you are aware of things and you actually do something different with yourself okay um i'm also seeing meditation brings the answers pisces if there's something that you're wondering uh meditate uh if someone's getting on your nerve whether you're you're messing with them you're dealing with them you're already involved with them meditate okay it's mercury retrograde everyone's pointing the finger at one another uh there's a mention here of us walking on eggshells even if you're not really arguing like that like you're just kind of walking on eggshells uh so just do be aware of that but i feel so the energy is like really good overall um i like this air sign here that you're dealing with possibly an aquarius um i do feel so there's like yeah like uh there's like an aquarius trying to come back into your life it feels like someone um didn't work out with them before and now they're coming back they're presenting themselves as like a more mature person um if this is not like you know someone from the past coming back then i just feel as though you are attracting a mature person this june uh, if you're already in a relationship this represents you and your partner you two are being very strategic and logical about your executions this is a good time to lock something down uh i'm seeing commitment here long-term commitment but i'm seeing something about the government so either like government assistance or your bank maybe you are opening up a bank account maybe a joint bank account like i don't know but i'm seeing something that is like stable there's there's definitely like stability here and you know what i see pisces i see wisdom maybe you guys were hoping i was gonna say a soulmate that's ready to marry you and be with you forever no wisdom pisces wisdom is coming soon soon come is what i feel okay so stability is on its way soon uh i see you falling for someone you you're feeling good about yourself pisces and this is attracting people your way okay do beware to not only focus on superficial things uh this june okay we need we need we need the whole package and i see you meeting someone that is ready for whatever type of lifestyle you're ready for okay so i kind of like that for you knight of cups uh there is romance here okay there's a bit of newness, a bit of excitement. Those of you have, who have been in relationships for a long time, uh, you're finding ways, like, you guys are good. Like, you're finding ways to reconnect and bring that, that you know, that fun back into the, okay, the connection. Sorry, one card, one card just, like, flew. I don't know if I got that. Two cards. Two cards flew. In. Okay. I thought it would be the same cards. I wish I got that on camera, but I think it was too low. I don't know how this happened. Okay, so we, okay, so all of a sudden we have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Okay, this is kind of dramatic. This is kind of theatrical. I feel so someone's working hard to hide something. Okay, I'll ask about it because, like, damn, the way it just flew out there, like, and again, the number seven is significant. I remember at the beginning of the reading, I said two sevens. Okay, so this is seven and this is seven. Two sevens. Two times seven okay what is going on okay let me ask what is the seven of swords this is what i'm telling you guys you're repeating the same cycles if you feel so someone they got red flags and yeah they are hiding something they're not being truthful okay let me see 
What is the Seven of Swords, please? This is a roller coaster. Okay, Seven of Swords, please. What is the Seven of Swords? What is what is someone hiding? What's going on? What is the Seven of Swords, please? What is the Seven of Swords for Pisces, please? Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords? Oh, the number seven. What? Okay. What is the number seven, please? What is Seven of Swords? I'm sorry, guys. I'm mixing a lot so I can make sure I can. Now the number seven is chasing me because it's seven minutes into this uh, second video that I'm filming. Okay, whatever. Okay, page of wands, empress. Okay. Why do I feel like someone has like a young wife or girlfriend at home? Okay, I'm getting like a military person. This is super random. I'm getting a military person. Uh, if you're meeting someone from abroad, just beware because I feel so they might have like a woman. Like, uh, she may even be pregnant. Again, a lot of like, okay. 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 Okay, Pisces. So basically, people are very charming. Okay, they're very charming. But if you get bad vibes, just just keep that in mind uh the judgment card in reverse lets me know again you're kind of repeating the same cycles the same life lessons that the universe wants you to like understand and grasp and like do something about like you're kind of repeating them so if you have a tendency of like attracting cheaters or just unfaithful people or liars or whatever like you know if your ex is coming back like is mercury retrograde of course they are does that mean we want to trust them? Like, I don't know. I'm seeing emotional maturity is needed, Pisces, okay? And I see a decision needs to be made about a Libra, I want to say. It could be another air sign, but about a Libra, a decision needs to be made. Um, so I don't, I don't know about how deep the deception is. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups. I, I still feel like so it's good. Three of, three of wands yeah beware like if you're meeting someone online and you're doing long distance like i don't really trust that if you're not like in the same city as this person like i don't know because i feel as though there's like a virgo involved like i feel as though you're seeing someone they're giving like air sign energy and like there's a virgo next to them it could be like a, a little sibling like i just feel so someone someone has someone younger at home waiting on them it could be a child but i don't feel like that i feel so they're together like something about someone's like homeland upbringing maybe your partner wants to suddenly go visit home like it could be that i wouldn't say there's any red flags with it but i'm just feeling a mention of someone coming back from travel or someone leaving um and just trying to be near family uh something also about a package uh being like a package coming from far away like I, I feel so this is like across the sea type of thing like this is like overseas okay there's a package something about the military let me know in the comments down below what i'm talking about because I, this is your business pisces it's not mine so you let me know like you let me know what's going on okay like i'm reading these cards for you okay so let me ask the angels real quick for any last minute um you know any last minute words um and then i'll see you guys on the flip side please like comment share subscribe it really helps with my algorithm um and i'll see you guys next month okay so we got uh we got meditation brings the answers oh my god these cards are in french because i got them i got this deck in french accent but um, i'm fluent in french so here we go meditation brings the answers you guys can google translate that if you don't believe me I told you meditation brings the answers. We have um, a big positive changes. Okay, so a lot of you are going to make significant changes in your life this month. We got pardon, so forgiveness is in session. We have communicate clearly and we have act. Yep, I like that for you. I definitely feel so there's some forgiveness. I, I told you there's like healing that needs to take place. Okay, so either with like old friends or old lovers, misunderstandings are getting cleared up so i don't feel so you need to go out your way um but if you feel guided to act on something pisces this is your confirmation to do it keep in mind mercury retrograde everyone's kind of like not really understanding much but you know whatever like who cares uh act on it okay what we got here moonology message for the pisces please last deck of cards and then i'll really leave you guys okay i'm, I'm gonna try to catch the rest of the sunset what we got for Pisces, please? Someone rising Venus? I feel so you're feeling more confident, Pisces. 
don't let that overshadow any work that needs to get done and don't make that you know be the reason why you make the wrong decisions okay pisces please messages for pisces bottom of deck we have what do you need to release ask yourself what do you need to release okay we also have you are good enough for moon in virgo you are deserving focus on these positive affirmations we have your hard work is paying off new moon in capricorn and last but not least we have step out of your comfort zone north node okay guys i'm gonna let you go i hope this was helpful give this reading a thumbs up because i love you and i'll see you next month bye